Since our company started, we have been working to develop a new category of regenerative medicine. We call this approach progenitor cell activation, or PCA, and we believe this could have a significant impact on a range of degenerative conditions. Our regenerative approach is unlike any other being taken in the hearing loss space. We were the first to demonstrate a pharmacokinetic pharmacodynamic relationship for FX322, where we showed that therapeutic concentrations of FX322 in the human cochlea were associated with statistically significant improvements in hearing function. We've never seen kinds of improvements before like this in pharmaceutical treatment of the cochlea. The treated group looks markedly different than the other two. It has a long tail in that upward direction that can't be explained by chance. We've pushed these subjects up on the graph, something no one's been able to do before. Our large clinical database has enabled us to pool data and better understand responder profiles. The orange circle indicates the focus that we have for the 208 trial. We are pleased to say that we are fully aligned with FDA, that the primary registrational endpoint will be a speech perception measure. We have now created FX345, a hearing restoration clinical candidate that achieves broad exposure through a large portion of the cochlea to assess if this could have an even bigger patient impact or help a broader population. Applying this approach to other serious diseases could yield life-changing new drugs. As MS progresses, patients lose myelin in the accompanying oligodendrocytes. We intend to activate oligodendrocyte progenitor cells, or OPCs, to turn into oligodendrocytes and regenerate myelin lost to MS. These are some of the most well-characterized and advanced compounds described in the literature. Now, let's look at a frequency compound. We were stunned when we put this under the microscope and the difference was immediately obvious. These data show the possibilities of progenitor cell activation for remyelination, and they illustrate the potential and power of the PCA platform for other diseases.